Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel to a new video and in today's video I'm sharing with you guys my tips for improving handwriting or just changing it in general. So my first tip before really just digging in and practicing is to find inspiration. Um, I'll link some of my favorite handwriting accounts or just like accounts with really nice handwriting in the description. I especially like Emma Studies as well as Study Quill and TBH Studying, but of course I'll link more in the description. The next thing I suggest you guys do is to look through a bunch of your papers and really just analyze and kind of look over your handwriting and what you want to change about it. Um, for instance, here I'm showing you guys just a bunch of papers I had over the past few months. Um, my handwriting varies a lot, actually. Sometimes I just prefer to write in cursive, so this worksheet I wrote it in cursive. Um, while other times I just like writing in normal writing, like this one here. Also, when I'm writing like an in-class essay, I often do prefer to write in like more of a cursive, which, I'll, which you'll see right now. And yeah, so just really look over and see what you want to change. So once you've got those two things figured out, um, the next things are the supplies. So first of all, you want to find a pen that works the best for you. For me personally, that is 0.38 black pens and black gel pens especially. Then the next thing is kind of find the type of pen, so like whether it's a ballpoint, a gel pen, or a fine liner, of course, like I already said, I really like the gel pen and the 0 0.38. I'll link some of my favorite pens in the description if you guys are interested to check that out. And also for the paper, sometimes I do have a preference over it, but once you kind of have your handwriting settled, it really doesn't matter. So I really like grid and aligned. I'm not a big fan of dotted because it just makes my handwriting look really messy and I don't like that. So of course, we're going to give the wonderful tip on how to improve or change. So, well, of course, the main topic is still practice. So the first tip I will give you is to really just, during the time you're changing your handwriting, I highly suggest instead of typing your essays, assignments, really try to write them. So just try to write as much as you can so you can practice your handwriting. The second tip I have is to really make it part of your routine. So for instance, if you don't already bullet journal or plan, you can do that to practice as well as just starting a journal in general. Of course, you can always use a guide, which I'm going to show you how. So I'm using this one from the Handwriting Studio. I'll have this specific one linked below as well as her Etsy shop. So for those of you who are interested, you can feel free to check it out. So for this one, it's really cool. It has a little tracker that you can use and then it just comes with the whole alphabet. So for instance, here I'm just writing the alphabet out. So the first line is like you trace the alphabet. The next one, you write it without a tracing back part. Next one is a word with a lot of that specific alphabet and the last one you just write and copy that another word actually. So they have that from the letter A to Z, so the 26 letters. And then you'll do another tracking. Then afterwards is followed by a bunch of other practices and new words and in the end you get a little congratulation and so that's the guide and I really do like it actually. So again I'll just make sure to link everything below just in case you guys were interested. I personally have pretty neat writing and I don't usually have to worry about making my handwriting look especially pretty or such so these are all the tips I have to offer for you guys. If you have any other questions in regards to handwriting or anything in general feel free to leave it in the comment section. As usual don't forget to subscribe and check out more of my content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!